Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own NPM package and host it on your own NPM server. The reason why you would want to do that is because sometimes you want to write code that is only pertaining to your company or maybe you just don't want to make the code public. So the best solution for that is to create your own package and host it on your private server. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is download the server that you're going to be using on your local computer. So in that one, there's many flavors of it, but the one that I prefer the most uh, of, that I worked with before is called Verdaccio. So let's uh, go ahead and install it. Okay, here we go. So the first error. So now I guess one of the dependencies that Verdacho has is that we have to install Python on the machine you're going to be running it on. So let's go ahead and find a copy of Python on the web. Okay, now that we have that installed, let's see if we can run uh, Verdacho. Well, as we can see here, we have it running and it's running on port 4873. So the next step is to create your own NPM package. So let's go ahead and open up another PowerShell window. And I prefer PowerShell for some reason, but you guys can use the command prompt if you want. Okay, now let's move into that. Now let's initialize this directory and let's use the default settings. So now we have um, a project JSON with the name of the package uh, that it was applied automatically. So now let's open that in Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's add a new file here. And here is where we're gonna add um, the functionality that your NPM package could include. Um, in this case, it's gonna be something very simple, uh, but you can make it more intricate to where you can um, maybe use React and have components that you could be inheriting from this package or reuse somewhere in other applications. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna make a simple uh, print out to the console log. <laughs> That's funny, hell world. So the next thing we need to do is publish the package. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And the way we do that is by specifying the registry. Well, the command will be publish 
if I can type. <laughs> have to specify the registry which will be the local registry that is running on, on, on this machine at the moment and the other thing we need to check for is the version number so let's go ahead and change it um, before I started recording I ran into an issue because of the version of the package so I, I did some testing off screen uh, so the way to test this or um, we'll run into an issue if we try to publish over a version that's already on the server so every time you do a publish you have to change the version of your package so let's go ahead and push this so it already published so we have it says that we um, push version 1.0.2 so let's verify that on the server Yep, as you can see, um, the latest version of this package is 1.0.2 and it was published a few seconds ago. Okay, so now that we have that package, let's use it. So let's go ahead and create, um, let me go ahead and close this. Okay, so let's create a directory. Uh, let's call it test and let's switch into it and let's run let's initiate it with the default settings okay so now that that's there uh, let's go ahead and open visual studio code okay so we don't have anything else but this npm package json so let's create another file and let's call it index.js and this is going to import from the npm package we created but maybe we should bring that in first so npm install and let's uh, save it and we have to set the registry where we're going to be getting this package from and that will be our npm server and the name of the package okay as we can see now we have node modules and that our package is in here so now let's import it and use it in our code And all we're going to do here is just simply call the function that we created in inside our npm package. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create an HTML file so we can text the functionality of our npm package. So let's go ahead and create an, H, uh, an HTML file. Uh, we're not going to have very much in here. And we are going to use our script uh, right here. And I will explain why I'm using the dist uh, directory uh, that's not even created yet, but I'll explain it in a little bit. So let's go ahead and create that directory. Um, it might actually be, even be created by uh, Webpack, which is what we're going to use to generate that file. Uh, but just in case, let's just go ahead and create it. And let's also create the main.js file. At the moment, there's nothing in it. Uh, but to be able to get something in there, let's go ahead and uh, open up the terminal again. And let's install Webpack. Now that we have Webpack installed, let's use it to generate the main.js file. It's as simple as 
saying that we're going to generate it from the index.js file. Okay, uh, it says that it generated it, so let's go see. And here it is, now that we have code there. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up that um, HTML file that we just generated and see if our code is actually working. Okay, let's open developer tools and there you have it. So, <laughs> I really need to learn how to spell. <laughs> But as you can see, this message is coming from the NPM package that we generate. I hope this video was useful to you and I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. And if you have any questions, please put them down below. Um, I really appreciate any feedback. And if you have any suggestions on what videos I should be creating next, uh, please let me know below. Thank you.